Well, we've seen the men's number one seed play absolutely sublimely on court one earlier on today. What about the women's number one seed? Wang Shi's in the world number one up against Pontip Buranpra Setsuk of Thailand. The number 10 seed here, the world number 11, the teenager. For this uh, last 16 in the Women's Singles World Championship here in London. They've met three times, and it's Wang who's won all three, all in straight games. They've met twice this year in the semi-finals of the Korean Super Series and at the All England. Here is Wang Shi's in the uh, number one in the world. But some suggest, Morton, not necessarily the number one's women player in China. <laughs> no, that's true. Uh, they have, I, I think, four. Top I think four. the top four, one, two, three, four. And, uh, you know, any one of those four can win on the day. So you're, you're right. It's, even though she's, she's top seed, she could be number four on the day. Well, she won her first two titles of the year. The Malaysian Super Series uh, final also won the All England. But since then, her form has been a little patchy. You can see those five defeats next to those 25 wins. Lost in the second round of the Asian Badminton Championship, Juliana Schenker, we saw of Germany, beat her in the Sudeman Cup. Tina Baum, who beat her in the uh, Singapore Open in the semis. And she also lost in the second round of the Indonesian Open to Cheng Shao Xie. So the crown is close to slipping and the pressure is on. Yep. And here's her opponent, who's uh, becoming a bit of a star back home, Pontip. Only 19 years of age, and she's become the first tie to have won a singles title in a Super Series event. She uh, won in India in May. Straight set, she beat Bei Youngju, who's been knocked out actually in the early stages of this World Championship as well. Again, maybe not kicked on from that victory as she would have liked, but that's uh, pretty good for a 19-year-old. Yeah, Thailand has got some uh, really good uh, lady singles players <coughs> lately, and they're all very young. And yeah. they also have the, the, the world uh, junior champion that's won it twice now. Well, she beat her in one of those finals. Yeah, exactly, that yes. knocked did. Yeah. And she was the one that was expected to go on and win a Super Series event yeah. first, but Porn Tips beating her to it. Yep. But that just shows that, you know, Thailand is really, really doing well in, in ladies' singles. So Udo Sene is once again in the umpire's chair. And it's Lauren Besta of South Africa, who is our service judge. Well, she's going to do some... Uh, have to do some to match the efforts of Lee Chong Wei earlier, the number one's men's seed. Yeah, totally disposed of his uh, opponent. It was almost too easy and too simple. Get the feeling this one might be a bit closer. Oh, it will be. It definitely will be. There's a lot of fighting spirits in, in, in Porn Tip here. She, uh, she will give a good match here. Yeah. Um, she's a very diligent player. Got a lot of powerful shots, maybe not as skillful as, you know, Ratchanok, who we were talking about just now, but... No, but she's, she's a good runner. She's got plenty of power. Yes, she's a very good runner. From Port it. One love. Out. 
Oh, and any just. Yeah, that was a good shot. I can understand she's happy with that one. Really nice slice shot. Those are just touching the net. It's a good play of point tip. She really got that drop shot very, very early, setting up a good smash chance and opportunity, but she missed it here. But that was really well played. Oh, she's, she, it's by fine margins. That's love. two shots now, or you know, it could be level pegging as it is. She's four love down. Yeah. It could have been a, a good winner there. Why love? I think given the scoreline, maybe she needs to just be a little more conservative in these uh, exchanges <laughs> coming up now. Yeah, she has to work her way into the match. Surely she's a little bit nervous playing uh, world number one and all that. So, you know, she, she needs time to settle in. And I, I think when she does, we, we will have a, what I call a, a, a decent match. She beat Liz Can on Six. Tuesday, 21-12, 21-19. Was us saying, uh, well, should be a lot closer than the Lee Chong Wei Park yeah. Sung game. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. I know, long way to go. Yeah. There you go, off the mark. One, seven. I think she's already pointed, demonstrated she's got a very nice touch uh, um, at the nets, and I'm sure that's something we're going to see some more. That's nice. Very, very good angle on that shot. Reaching it early. Good. She's enjoying the way she's playing as well. Nine, one. The last time I got to say her play was at the Sudaman Cup, and she looked a very different player. She was nervous there. She, she was. looked out of sorts, and here she looks to be strutting her stuff and timing everything really well. But somehow there's a, a massive difference uh, when you know you play for your team and 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 you play for yourself. When you play for the team, uh, there's a tendency that you, you really get a little bit more nervous. And also, I think part of the problem there, the Sudamin Cup, which is the World Team Championship, is that she knew if she didn't play well, that yeah. one of the other three players in the just top four would it. just take her place. Exactly. Which did happen. <laughs> yeah. I think they used uh, all three lady singles players. Yeah. She played twice in it. But, uh, did get one win as well as that one defeat to Juliana Schenk. Schenk, yes. Yeah, just 
Uh, it's a bad, bad start for Corntip. I think uh, I, I know she can play a lot better than this. Well, the fact that she won that Super Series event, she reached the final in Australia, semi-final in the Korean Open. Shizian really not much needed to say to her, but I think quite a lot needs to be said here to Pongon Tip. It's pretty animated, wasn't he? The yeah, the body language is telling a lot. Obviously, we haven't got a clue what he's talking about, but um, something like, come on, back yeah. your ideas up. Come mate. on, pull the socks up. Let's do something here. You can do better than this. And it's similar as well to going back to Lee Chong Wei Park in that the fact that you know Park had lost 10 in a row coming into this game mm. you know Pontip here has lost three in a row twice this year she's lost yes. to Wang Shizian so psychologically especially when she starts trailing so heavily early on psychologically difficult to pick herself up yes I, I think so but on the other hand she uh, Pontip is so young that sh she shouldn't even be thinking about that she shouldn't be thinking that next time I play her, I will be better. I will do better. And eventually I will beat her. Not saying, oh, it's just going to be business as usual and then, you know, throw in the towel. When you're 19 years old, you've you got to go out there and you've got to take the world. Good pressure. And the one playing like a world number one, isn't she? Yes. She is. Playing some really good badminton. That's a nice clear. This one is very well disguised. That was the easy bit. Yes. I mean, you know, it's, it's only to make it 15-2. I mean, if it really was 14-3, it'd be no problems. But she, you know, she's happy. She's enjoying her game, yes. isn't she? She's she's all charged up. That's that's for sure. Shuttle at 216 down. Tough times for Pawns it. Yeah. can allow you to build again but you feel like she needs to pick up at least uh, six or seven points before the next game to really give herself psychologically something to get hold of it yeah. it's difficult when your opponent's playing so well that you feel like you have to play everything to such okay, tight that's, angles that's the pressure you, you have to play so sharp to stay in the game and obviously she's uh, overdoing it a little bit and making far too many mistakes. Oh, I think the uh, umpire warned the, the coach about talking uh, 
while play is in progress. That's in. There's a little mini run for that. So Six, to give us some encouragement, not that Wang is in agreement here that that was in. Uh, it's tough to say. I think it was. time before Wang Shizian uh, took this opening first game. And the whole aim for point tip must be still to try to get three or four extra points here and work her way into the game and get ready for for the second set. But it doesn't look Ready, like it. She's boy, missing those lines. Seven. 13 game points then for the world number one. It has been a very comprehensive display from Wang Shizian. 21-7. And, uh, well, what we've seen from the uh, number one seeds in the men's and women's singles so far has been pretty impressive. Yeah, you, can, you can see that uh, Wang doesn't feel under pressure at all. She really plays her shots. She... Um, she plays them like she hasn't got a care in the world and, you know, everything will be well and good. So, you know, she, she's really difficult to play against today. I think she's having, a, what you can say, a, a very good day. And, of course, has been helped, of course, by Hornsip's inability to get to the heights that she's obviously reached at points in 2011. <laughs> Now it's really important for for Porn Tip to uh, to get a good start in the, in the third set. Uh, sorry, in the second set here. Second game. Ah! 
She has beaten uh, one of the big Chinese players in April. She beat last year's world champion Wang Lin in the semi-finals of the Australian Open. So she knows she can do it, and she knows she can play a lot better than she has so far. Yeah, it's it's important for her self-confidence now to to really pick up the game, get some points here from the beginning. It's crucial. Some better touches, at least, at the start of this. Well, I must game. say that uh, Wang is really playing well. The way she was playing that shot following in, she really played it well. Yeah, I'd say that's better from Porter, but, you know, sometimes it's just going to keep <laughs> coming back at you. Absolutely. Like nothing can go wrong. Well, that shot here is excellent again. Hitting the tape, hitting the line. Can't ask for more. More like it, important tip, more pressure. No, she's playing a lot better in this second game. I mean, she's in rallies, you know, as opposed to trying to keep playing a killer shot every time she has a go. Not making the mistakes. Playing as she is right now, Pawn Tip, and she yes. must make a bit of a match of this second set. They're having really, really long breaks between uh, the points now. I think I think the umpire really have to look at it. it. Takes forever. Is there a set time? There's not a set time, but there it has to be continuous play. Four, three. And uh, and I think they're really taking their time, both of them. They're doing little walkabouts around the court, mm. aren't they? And yeah, looking at the racket here at the moment is uh, Pawn Tip.
points in a row and uh, Mark Shizian is again getting on top. I think Pawn Tip's running skills are, are really being tested here. She's she's pushed to all corners in a, in a very high pace and she simply just cannot follow. And and she can run and run and run, but if she hasn't got the pace, she will always be late and then be uh, be under pressure and make the mistakes. Uh, celebrated one or two points when she's four clear, ten clear. Mm. Interesting to see what she does later on in the tournament when it gets closer and yeah. she's going for medals. But I think in in, in a way she's she's the times that I've, every time I've seen her that's that's how she is and uh, she's very spirited player. Four, seven. Yeah, you, you've got to be your, your own personality, Adam Court, mm. haven't you, Morton? You, you can't try and be... You can't be someone you're not. You really have to be true to yourself. Did you hear about various players? Oh, you wish they were a little more animated or... Exactly. You know, they, they'd be a little this, this or that, grumpy or... <laughs> yeah, whatever. You, you are the one you are. And uh, obviously you do have to do, deal with it and do the best you can. How would you describe the way Morton Frost was on court? Um, he was a quiet man, eventually. <laughs> Very quiet. But when I was younger, I had a, quite a temper. So the moody? Is, is uh, moody is not. I, I was really having temper. And how did you cut that out then? I had to. I simply had to because uh, every time I was losing my temper, I was losing the matches. I couldn't do it like John McEnroe. They played better and better the more angry he got. I, I got so frustrated, I, I lost my matches. So I had to learn to put a lid on it. And uh, when I was about 19, 20 years old, I said, OK, this is it. And I kept it ever since. Even though I was boiling inside on many, many occasions. I suppose you call that maturity. Yeah, or, you know, I just want to win. <laughs> <laughs> Better to be winning than angry. Yes. Ten, four. Well, any little sign we had of a comeback, it looks to have been extinguished now because eight of the last nine points have gone one she's yeah. hands away. Well, would she, she would be growing in confidence for every minute, minute that this game, game goes on and she would add on even more pressure. And, and as I say, she would play like there's no care in the world. And, and when you play like that, obviously, you, you play, you know, ev everything just comes so easy. Every, uh, every point a little triumph for her. Well, her nickname's Peace. She wasn't getting too much of it from her coach there. <laughs> Thai players are all giving little nicknames. Yeah, they have their own ways. Boon Sack yesterday, Superman, I think it's his, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> but it's not just in badminton, it's in all, all sports. Okay. 
I'm not sure how they exactly get the nicknames. <laughs> sure something stupid things is happening and then that's where it comes from. pressure on that clear Six, to the backhand side and it's forcing an error sure. that clear that's coming now that's really well played forcing this error good play by point tip She needed. No, that's a rough one. Now it's Vesta holding the fork. Bit of a meteoric rise, it's been really for one hit, relative unknown, just over two years ago, and all the way to world number one. Won gold at the Asian Games as well. Smash well disguised again. But I think uh, the quality of the game here is obviously much better than the first set, but um, I still, to create the excitement, uh, we need a lot more points from, uh, from Pawn Tip. Yeah, I don't think the tension's coming, Morton, to be honest. No, neither do I. I, I must say. Uh, should, should this be the result of the match? I'm, I'm slightly disappointed in Pontip. I, I thought she would have been having a better chance. You know, we would have had a, a good game, uh, lots of uh, fights, uh, but she's not really been able to follow pace at all. No, she'll be, I think she'll be a, a little upset. Yeah. Come the end, I think she's a little upset right now, but I mean, she reflects as well. Uh, she's got to go home and study the match and take something positively from it and, and go home and work on it. I mean, that's the kind of error she shouldn't really be making. I understand when she's beaten by some really good play from her opponent, but those are the silly little mistakes that just made it too easy for one. Yeah, 
she's never really been under pressure mentally either, so where she's being more careful, playing uh, not so sharp shots and so on. So um, obviously she's growing in confidence every minute. That was the kind of sort of sh that was the yeah. sort of shot we're expecting to see more of. Yes. Getting well underneath this one could smash down the line. Hardly seen that at all, have we? Seeds in the men's double. Kai and Fu for the second match in a row have gone to three sets. I can guarantee you this will not go to three sets. They're playing the Japanese uh, pair, by the way, of Kawame and Sato. Yeah, they do really well. It's a fantastic game on the other court. Certainly hasn't been the case that the uh, number one singles players have been tested today, even if the doubles in the men's are. Match point nine. Because it's match points already for one. Even though they've been uh, playing pretty slowly, it's only just over half an hour into the game. came back in. <laughs> yeah. Still, 10 more match points. Good lift. that was in doubt with its destiny, was it? One Shizian always looked in control from the moment she won the first seven Nine points one in the match. One yep. Totally agree with you. Seven, Impressive performance. Seven. Yeah, she uh, has matched Lee Jong Wei, the number one seed in the men's singles in the way that she's outgunned her opponent here in the last 16. There'll be tougher matches ahead if she is to win the gold medal this week as she did in the Asian Games. The world number one will be very satisfied with her performance here. Not so, though, Pontip Purumpra Setsuku didn't perform on the day, but the 19-year-old still got plenty of world championships ahead of her. So, in the quarter-final, it will be Cheng Xiaoqie of Chinese Taipei, who Wang will meet next, the number seven seed after she came through against the teenage Spaniard. Pretty close game, 21-18, 21-17. Marine, who's performed well this week. But for Wang Shizian, job done pretty effectively too, into the last eight. 